And in our health report tonight, Kratom is back in the headlines again. Yeah, first, we heard about this controversial over-the-counter herbal supplement may act like an opioid drug. Now it's linked to a salmonella outbreak in at least 20 states, including here in Michigan. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi, joins us now with how many people have gotten sick. So, Glenna, Glenna, this is really more bad news for Kratom supporters. 28 people have been sick with salmonella, and the CDC believes it's the same strain as genetic testing have linked the reported cases. Luckily, no one has died, and only 11 people have needed to be hospitalized so far. Question is, is there a particular brand or a supplier, Doc, that people should avoid here? So Dave, the CDC is telling us to avoid them all because they haven't identified a particular brand as salmonella source, and they don't know yet how this supplement became infected. Now, you've heard me talk about salmonella plenty of times, and oh, likely you remember that you usually get it when you eat foods contaminated with animal feces that contain the bacteria. It's usually not, not life-threatening, uh, but in older adults, pregnant women, and those with weakened immune systems can really develop dangerous complications. So we've talked about Kratom before. Do you think it's dangerous? And I'm really concerned. It really has, definitely has a lot of red flags, including 44 deaths connected with Kratom since 2011. I would recommend you avoid it until the DEA completes its analysis on whether or not this herbal supplement is dangerous and addictive. So here are my prescriptions for people regularly taking supplements. Number one, please avoid Kratom in any form. It's sold in powders, as powders rather, pills, capsules, and tea. You can even find it in some energy drinks. Be sure to check labels. Kratom goes by other names like Tang, T-H-A-N-G, Tom, Kakuam, Ketam, and Bayak. Also, salmonella symptoms include diarrhea, fever, and abdominal cramping. If you get sick, be sure to drink fluids. Avoid getting dehydrated. And finally, your body has natural defenses to protect you against salmonella, but know that these can be weakened if you take antibiotics or have inflammatory bowel disease really important. Hopefully everybody, you know, takes heed and avoids Kratom until we can get a better idea what's going on because people are dying. All right, Doc. Thank you so much for those tips. And if you have a question or health concern for the good doctor, email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.